What's up, you guys? So I'm here with a new video today. I'm here to bring you guys the Saphira Heretic deck uh, from the replays I had a couple days ago. Uh, shout out to Dark Magician 13. He was kind enough to send me the list. You guys really enjoyed the video, enjoyed the replays. So here's a list, you guys, for any of you that are trying, wanting to try out a different deck. Those of you that like Heretics, those of you that want to play Saphira in the deck. Here's the deck that he used. Um, you know, it's all personal preference, but I think it's really cool to see something new and unique. Uh, that actually is like, you know, holding its own against the meta. So we'll get into it right now for the monsters. Two blue eyes, white dragon, vanilla you can bring out of bring uh, out of the deck off of the heretics. You can also bring out the level eight, the vanilla, the vanilla egg. It's an also a level eight uh, for the deck. You have luster dragon and labradorite dragon is your other vanillas that you bring out out of your heretics. They can create your uh, rank six XYZs or if you're synchroing or whatever, anything that you do uh, with the deck. Uh, one red MD, self-explanatory, one of the best cards in the deck. You bring it out off of a Heretic Dragon of a Tomb, and then it's able to bring back another Dragon, so a really versatile card. For the Heretics, you run three Sue, that's your back row popper, three Tefnuid, it's your Cyber Dragon, and three Esset, which is your, uh, you're able to normal summon it uh, without tributing. Its attack will become a thousand, but that doesn't matter because you just special the Heretics over it, so it just gets your combos going. For those of you that don't know, whenever a Heretic is tributed, it brings out a vanilla dragon from the deck at 0, zero but you're able to XYZ and continue your plays with it, so it's very versatile. Uh, he chose to run two copies of Honest, very good defensive card. You guys saw in the replays, he won a lot of games with Honest, just because the opponents smack right in your monsters, like, yo, Honest game, like, it's pretty crazy. You run a lot of light monsters, so it makes sense. Two Max C, there's no reason not to play Max C, um, you know, a lot of deck special summon. Um, it's at two, you run two, and then of course the boss of the deck, Sephira, Queen of Dragons. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this card does, you can ritual summon this card with him a light. During the end phase, this card is ritual summon um, this turn, or if a light uh, monster was sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, uh, hand of the graveyard this turn while this card was visible on the field, you can activate one of the effects. You can draw two cards and discard one, or you can discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Well, you can add one light monster from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use the effect, you know, once per turn. So very versatile card, really great card in general. Uh, so, you know, it just works with the deck because of the fact it's also a six and that's light. So it works with everything in the deck. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. It's 22 monsters to so the spells. Three pre-preparation of rights, one of the best cards in the deck. You add a ritual spell from your deck. Add a ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand whose name is listed on the card. Search him of light. Search Saphira. Self-explanatory. Three heretic searchers get your heretic monsters get your combos going. He tech two advanced draws. You do have the level eights and blue eyes, level eight in the vanilla itself, uh, the heretic vanilla. If it were to come up, you're able to further you know progress your game state. So it's really cool to just draw more cards. Soul charge, one of the best cards in the game. Upstart to keep the deck at 39. One pre uh, regular preparation of rights to get whatever you need. Three, Hymn of Light, it's your ritual for Saphira. It also adds in protection. If it were to be destroyed by battle or card effect, you guys saw in a lot of the replays, he saved his monster by you banishing him a light from the graveyard. It's a very versatile card. So that's it for the spells and for the traps. You ran a two Storming Mirror Force to balance problematic monsters back to the hand and two copies of Reckless Greed to further accelerate the deck. So that's it for the main deck. It's 40 cards to the extra deck. Two copies of Ultimaya Tazokin. You can make the card very easily in the deck. Very great card. The main guy he always brings out with it is Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, negate effects. I mean, it's just broken. Um, Scarlight, great card. Burn the opponent. Clear problematic boards. Doesn't target. He also ran the Spiders, uh, which is the Seven Sins and Pain Gainer. Uh, they're just really versatile. You make a Dark X XYZ, then you just go right over with it. And um, Seven Sins is really hard to clear for a lot of decks. A really good card. Uh, and then he ran the Galaxy Engine of uh, Dark Matter, um, full pro, what, full, yeah, full armor, Photon Dragon, and then, of course, Cypher Dragon, one of the best cards that was recently released. I mean, just being able to just big-eye a monster turned into a galaxy is crazy. One Hope Harbinger, you do make eights a lot. Uh, one uh, Heratic Dragon, Heliopolis. So, uh, so I love this card. It doesn't target, just blows away problematic cards, so great card. Uh, one um, Lancelot, uh, I believe you use this to go into Pain Gainer, into the Seven Sins, but it's also there for its versatile effect of attacking directly, so it's there, and then you have Gaia Charger, just, you know, smack for game, and then you have, I've never seen this card before, this is number 24, Dragulus the Vampiric Dragon, it says once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ from this card, then target a phase of monster on the field that was special summon from the extra deck, change it to face down defense position, if this card in its owner's control is sent to the graveyard, or banished by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card in face down defense position, damn, if this card is flipped face up, what is that last effect? If this card is flipped face up, uh, let me see here. I don't actually know what that says. 
It has another effect. Let's see. Send one. This card is a damage buff. Special summon it. Let's see. This card is a special sense of the graveyard. Advantage buff. You can special summon this card to face down defense. Position. This card is flipped face up. Send one card on the field to the graveyard. That's really cool. So you can just uh, get rid of another problematic card. Very cool. And then, of course, the already mentioned the Tum that just, you know, creates your heretic combos. Uh, over here, I do not believe this is a side deck. I believe these are just other cards you can play in the deck. More Vanillas, Valor, other Heratic Monsters. Just stuff that you can play based on um, whatever matchups you go against. But uh, yeah, just that's a deck, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. 30 plus likes would be awesome. Uh, I really do try to get the deck profiles in addition to the replays because I know you guys always want to see, you know, what, you know, what are they cooking when they... Uh, you know when they send me in the replays like what you know what recipe what deck is doing all the damage so i think it's really cool that you guys send me the deck list too you guys really enjoy the replay so whenever i have replays if they'll send me the deck list too i'll feature it in a separate video that way you can see the replays and then compare it side by side with the list anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash that like button i'm a really cool video coming up soon it's gonna be called the greatest story ever told it's gonna be my uh kind of like life update video you guys you guys really gotta stay tuned for that because uh a lot of changes are happening. They're all positive. Nothing is negative. Um, basically, the short version, I'll be going to a lot more events. The old Slim is coming back, and it's a really great feeling. A lot of decisions I made on my own with the support of my family, my friends, my girlfriend, everybody. And um, it's just a great feeling. I'm in a fantastic mood. Uh, the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders. I'll just put it to you that way. But anyways, stay tuned for that video. That video will be coming soon. It'll be uh, kind of like a face video like this. It'll, maybe I'll have a replace or something playing in the background in case you guys get bored. But it's, uh, it's a great video, so I can't wait to record that for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button. Uh, send me your replays guys the emails in the description uh, if the replays are awesome you know we'll feature the deck too if you want to send me the deck as well we can prepare for two videos so it'll be awesome so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching